Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com. It's been a while since I did a video. Um, I just like to do videos when I have a new product. Um, so, and I usually do it twice a week, but it's been a while, we've been really busy. Thanks God, bombarded. Um, thanks to all of our customers that keep us busy. But today we have a console 733 R-5, pretty much a monster sewing machine and it's industrial sewing machine with special table, it's walking food, obviously um, very, very, very uh, special machine, heavy duty. Look at this wheel, 14 inch wheel. Uh, look at this table, we're gonna go over everything. Today, you might see me in my, it's Sunday today. So I came to just do a couple of stuff and this machine was ready. Look at this stitch. This is where it comes from. Uh, came with the machine uh, from console. This is the sample. And this is what I'm doing. I'm even going bigger and thicker than what console used. And there's still more room. I mean, look at this. It said one and a qu one quarter. Look, I still have more room for the... Um, uh, material to go underneath. Uh, just to go over quick, 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 quick. What is this machine for? First of all, it's a single needle machine. Only one needle is a walking foot, but it's, uh, I don't even know if they make any other type of feet for this machine. This is to do one thing only. It's, there is no special feet, unless I don't know. I gotta check with console. Obviously the long arm, long arm means that anything over nine inch would be considered long arm from here to here, from needle to the neck here is 16 inch. Uh, overall table. Whoa. Uh, 59, let's say 60 inch by 30 inch. The bed of the sewing machine from one end to the other end is 26 inch. Uh, if you want to know the height here from bottom to the top is 13 inch. And again, one and one quarter the um, the space under um, the feet. Uh, both from here. And from here you could do food lift, uh, obviously a regular servo sewing machine, no needle positioning system uh, available on this machine, a manual bobbin winder, very special, huge bobbin for shuttles. Look at this, huge ones. Um, I'm using today, I'm using Gold Star Tool Thread, a very heavy to do the thread, 210D-12. It's really heavy, it's very thick, it's nice. And um, oil, drop of oil here, here, you could feel this oil here, you're gonna get oil. You could feel whatever you want right here, you could oil the bottom here. Every place that you see red, uh, dark, you could throw in oil here. The machine comes with obviously a LED lamp from Gold Star Tool. You get the thread stand. There is a bar here. You see this bar right here? This could be used for attaching different type of, uh, let's, say, let's say, tapes inside here. So you could run the tapes, webbing, whatever. On, on the goodie bag, you get part book, couple of bobbin, I mean, uh, screwdriver, obviously bobbin, uh, bobbin, oil. Look at these needles. Look at these nails. Whoa, God. You could pretty much sew anything with this. Cardboard, whatever you want. And you get some extra tools here. Uh, and you get the oil, obviously. Now, uh, needle, it said 1,000 or 1,000 edge. Uh, again, I said workspace is 25 inch. A stitch length, 13 millimeter. Uh, 
clearance under pressure fit one and one and quarter, a stitch type, type 301, it weighs 250 pounds. Okay. Uh, hook is, which is not a hook. You know what, why don't you come here so I show them what it is. We don't call this a hook, we call them a shuttle. This thing pops out. This thing you could pop out right here. If you could zoom in, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, this is a shuttle right there. What you do is in the side, you press and pop open. This is uh, the bobbin obviously with the thread inside, you put it back in there. This is the tension. When you want it threaded, you just push the thread up through this hole and the machine would catch. Uh, back here. Uh, you see this? This is a uh, silicone oil reservoir. Um, and if you want to do much thicker thread, obviously you want to run it through here. If you see there are pads in here, you could put sewing gate, silicone oil, and you just, the thread goes through from here, uh, back here. Everything is in the book and through the tension, down, back here, coming down, through the tension guide, up here, to here, down here, left to the right. Um, bring it out. Ooh, beautiful. It's an amazing sewing machine. Uh, and I'm gonna show, let's see. Um, what could you sew? What is this machine made for? Um, for stitching extra heavy duty weight materials, designed for such an operation, and safety, logging bed, cargo, buffing wheels, wow, buffing wheels, you know those buffing wheels? Uh, cargo, sling, buffing, I mean, I said that, uh, covers, whatever, balloons. You know the balloons, that like air balloons, bam, you go up in the air. Uh, boat, book binding, I told you, could do a lot of stuff. Uh, you have reserve, we're gonna, we're gonna start showing now. It's just people like to see more me talking. They like to see showing more than me talking. And here we go, done, here we go. I'm gonna just, see. When you wanna start sometimes, and by the way, the bobbin winder is in gear, so. You see that? That's pretty normal. That's the shutter hook down there. It's not a turning hook, it's a shutter hook. The thread has to be loose. So from here, you could, you want to turn, you could down, turn, all right? You could also do it from here, but. Now, if you want to go reverse, it's set here. Reverse, forward, you have forward, reverse. And you want to go reverse, you could go back here and do reverse, right? You could lock it on top right here, and a stitch length. I'm gonna go the other way, and I'm gonna do stitch length, very slow, see? And I'm gonna show you what I did just right now, see? stitch length from very tiny to all the way to the, and it's right, everything's done from here. You just have to loosen, I mean, tie this, so for this to stay all the way down. Uh, this is the back, this is the front, um, again, This is the biggest, and this is the tiniest right here. Now, you see some of the red came out? You could adjust the tension. Both from here, tie, loosen the tension here. You have two places that you could loosen the tension. One is here, one is back here. You know, do those two places you could uh, do the tension. Uh, again, today I'm using the 210D slash 12. Uh, from New Tech, from Gold Star. 
This is our own product, and we have them in variety of colors. Um, great, great product. See how nice and but I'm gonna just go ahead and add some more fabric to it just to know uh, how this thing works better. That's what people like to see, if this thing could do. Uh, sometimes it happened today that a couple of times I had to crank it. That's why you have such a big wheel, 12 inch wheel right here. Okay, this is perfect. Go down. See? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Hallelujah. Look at that. Woo! Look at this thickness. Look at that thickness. Unbelievable, right? There is no oil in, oil in the machine right now, obviously. But um, when there is oil, you're gonna hear it much. The sound would be, when you wanna take the thread out, just go ahead and, the way I do it, obviously. Um, I'm just gonna show you the back. The back, the front. Console 7335. A great sewing machine from console. Um, pretty much a great, great sewing machine. There is no oil reservoir. It's pretty heavy. If you wanna ask me how many people you need to move this thing around, you need four people to move it around. I would write, uh, uh, we don't have this on wheels. Uh, it's just that this is a special made uh, leg for this machine. So um, it comes on its own uh, table, its own legs, the way you see it. A great sewing machine. This is the result. This is David from goldstartool.com and have a golden day. Thank you for watching.